What's going on YouTube? It's the Silva Armory and I'm your host as always, James Silva. And in today's video we actually got a request from somebody who calls himself Shadow Behemoth. Now Shadow Behemoth actually asks, how can he keep his upper body strength and muscle while at the same time lose fat? Now, what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split up a couple different videos for you specifically Shadow Behemoth. Um, but for starters, what I'm going to recommend is actually cardio, but not necessarily your normal running, jogging, or elliptical training, or biking. What you could do is actually just start walking. Walk, you know, if, depending on how overweight you may be, you want to start walking with maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. And if you're used to that already, start upping the intensity by going up like 15, 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, and then start doing it on a hill. Keep it at a very slow pace. You don't have to go into like running or jogging or anything like that. Um, which might be more damaging to the knees, but at the same time, this will start kicking in where you'll burn more calories without losing the muscle mass. Now, second thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go over an intense uh, hybrid workout for your chest and your back. Now, if you're doing a split routine already, if you're doing like, you know, chest on one day, chest and tries and back and buys and, you know, shoulders and abs or something like that, it's fine um, as long as you're getting into the gym at least three to five times out of the week. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give you these workouts here where they're going to be a little bit more uh, of a change up for your normal routine to get your nervous system shocked and to get your body, your metabolism boosted a little bit faster. So without further ado, let's get into the workout. Today is chest and back. So first off, like I said, we're going to start off with cardio on your workout. So you're going to do about 15, 20 minutes of treadmill work before you get into the workout, get your heart rate going, get your blood um, pumping. And then what you're gonna do next is a superset of push-ups, lat pull-downs, and burpees, all right? So we're gonna start off with the push-ups and the burpees first, then go into the lat pull-downs. So, you going to get down to a push-ups, pump out 10, 15. If you really need to, go on your knees. Go ahead, go on your knees, there's no shame in that. And pump them out. After you pump out about 10, you're gonna go into a burpee, which you come on down, Jump back, jump up, stand up. Down, back, up, stand up, okay? Then you're gonna pump out about 10 of those, 10 to 15 of those, and then you're gonna go immediately to a lap pull down. All right, so now we're at the lap pull down. You got your arms spread up here. Take it down to your chest, and then stretch it up nice and slow. Now again, you're going about 10 to 15 reps here. And the main thing here is, you know, you have a slight lean back, you take it to the top of your chest. What you don't wanna do do the ones behind the neck, that's going to start to grind down on your shoulder joint and that's going to actually end up doing damage over time. So we're just going to keep it in front, pull it right to the top of your chest, and you're going to pump out about three sets of all three on the push-ups, on the lap pull-downs, and the burpees, and that should get you a good pump to start. All right, so next what we're going to go into is actually what I call a six by six, okay? So. This is, um, if you're already accustomed to benching, if you already do a, a bench press, incline bench press, decline bench press on your chest routine, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna go a little bit heavier on your bench press, but you're gonna do only six reps, okay? Because if you're normally doing about eight to 12 reps, um, you're probably doing a little bit lighter than what you're doing with the six by six. But immediately after your set of benching, you're gonna go into about 30 seconds of jump rope or lateral jumps, okay? so. And go ahead and do your six set, six reps. And then your choice by the jump rope. Or what I like to do sometimes is put the jump rope down and go into lateral jumps side to side. 30 seconds, take about a minute or two minute break in between and then you're gonna go right back into it. With this portion right here, this is a lot heavier um, movements for the type of workout this is because it's a higher intensity so you'll be out of breath. So you might need a little bit more of a break in between sets. So, Following up that six by six chest routine, your chest should feel really pumped 
But what we're going to do now is we're going to go into back, and what we're going to do is not a 6x6, six six, but what we're going to do is a 3x8, um, okay? So we're doing three sets of this, eight reps. We're going to go into he heavier weight again on uh, the bent over row, but what we're going to start off with is actually incline pull-ups. Now, you can do the incline pull-ups on a Smith machine, or if you're, if you're looking to have like a squat rack like this where you could uh, go ahead and lean back on it with the bar, go for it. So you got the bar. I'm going to start off with incline pull-ups. Now, if it's too hard for you, you don't have to extend your legs all the way out. You can bring your legs a little bit closer so that you have a shorter lever to basically pull up. So you're going to go about eight reps. Immediately after those eight reps, you're going to go ahead and grab the bar, take your chest down, and go into bent over ropes. And you're going to go another eight reps of this and get a good squeeze in your back. Okay, so now for the bent over row, you want to make sure that your back has a neutral spinal alignment. That's something I didn't explain earlier, but you, don't, you want to make sure that the weight is rounding your back forward. You want to keep your chest out, back straight, bent from the hips, arms down. Now you can do it either supinated or pronated. It, I mean, it, they, they do work different parts of the back as well as the biceps. Um, but, you know, it, right for this right here, it doesn't matter. If you're going to do it, say, supinated with the bent over row, do it pronated on the pull-up. So that way you're hitting both sides. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go into a superset with both the chest and the back. So we're going to go into an incline here with the dumbbells. You're going to go into incline and fly. And you're actually going to go about 15 reps. After the 15 reps, you're going to keep the dumbbells flip over and go into rows right here and again about 15 reps you're doing this for a total of three sets <clears throat> so the main thing you want to focus on during this workout is make sure that you're jumping from one exercise immediately to the next trying to keep yourself uh, very little rest or no rest at all so that way we keep the heart rate up burn more calories and at the same time we're still building strength and building size by keeping the weight and intensity, the volume of the, the workout still there. Um, so the other thing that I would want to mention that if you're trying to lose and cut and burn off fat is eat healthy, eat clean, eat right. Uh, your best bet, check out the calorie counters. Um, I have one on uh, another video of mine. Um, you did, uh, I'll actually put the link right down below somewhere. But um, basically, you want to find out how many calories you should be eating. Use a calorie counter on your phone. It's very simple. And keep close to that. You'll start to see weight just drop off of you just like that. Um, the main thing is try to keep your protein intake high. Um, especially with this type of workout, you want to still keep your lean mass, your muscle mass. Um, and you're not going to do it if you're not feeding the muscle protein. Very simple. So, like I said earlier, this isn't really going to... Uh, replace your split routine, but basically it's going to give you a substitution for one of those days to kind of give you a change up a curveball and uh, boost your metabolism and get some calories burning. At the same time, it's going to give you a great pump. You're going to feel good by it, and uh, that's what we want. We want to start seeing that lean mass and start seeing calorie burn and feeling that pump. All right, so. If you guys have any other kind of questions, comments, or feedback, please just leave them in the comment section below. If you have other questions and want to see me make a video just for you, just leave it. Leave me a message on YouTube or on Facebook, um, and I'll be glad to answer them to you in another video response. Um, also, stay tuned. I'm going to do uh, more upper body workouts for this question that Shadow Behemoth has asked. So stay tuned for more videos. See you guys next time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there.